Imagination. The only free thing in the entire universe that you have no matter the state you're in. Like sand, it can be morphed and shaped into anything. All it takes is time, and I've got plenty of that. My condition is filed as in a fragile vegetable state. To emphasize that, I am pretty much a damaged tomato. And like my juicy counterpart, I just kind of sit there on a shelf with wheels. And have been for 11 years now. Don't get me wrong, it's been kind of cool watching a city like this grow. But just a bit gloomy because all I do is stare out a glossy window. There are many other windows like it, but this one, this one is mine. This dusty, broken, murky pane of glass is the closest thing to freedom I have. I have basically no friends, but all of the faces around me are constantly familiar, but I don't have to know them to realize their meaning in my stories. I have an imagination. I am imagination. I really am a nice guy. If only this caring and considerate doctor would listen to me. Have fun in dreamland. Oh wait, I can't talk. Wakey, wakey, hands off the snakey. Shut up. Tired of it, Henry. So what's for breakfast? Just try it, man. <coughs> Pretty good, right? What'd you put in that? Honey mustard, some uh, chocolate fudge, and a piece of cheese. Oh. Don't forget to finish that uh, sandwich, man. Wait, you're not gonna eat the other part of this? I made it for you. Hey, wait. What do you want, Henry? It's really good having you around. It's good having you around too, man. I love you, bub. I love you too, man. Don't get yourself in too much trouble. I was extremely shook up by the fact that he was leaving, even though I barely knew him. And the whole detective gig? I mean, come on, how fantastic, right? Between the gun and the new getup, I could get used to this. Technically, I never knew him, but this me, this me loves him. He's my brother. It's definitely a rapid change going from nothing to something in a matter of moments. It was scary at first, but now I look forward to it. I know I'm in control of this entire thing, like a that's so Raven meets Inception type of audio. You better be here. But this one is different. A brother? A job? This is something that I haven't encountered until right now. It's all fake, I know, but... Someone legitimately caring for me is taboo to me. Then again, so is being able to finally interact with another human being.
You're coming with me. This isn't good. I actually haven't seen a cop in years. Another good thing about being able to conduct these lucid dreams, or whatever you may call them, is that my imagination has installed an extremely detailed file on a bank robber that I, well, this cop, has been following. His name is Todd Hunley, and he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. But he most certainly is a lucky one. I've had a few run-ins with the guy. Honestly, I've had so many chances to take him down and end our rivalry once and for all. But no matter how hard I try, what tricks I tried to play, he always pulled something better out of his sleeve. This isn't over! But this time, this time was going to be different. Hey! Alright, alright, I apologize for the lack of an actual police outfit. This is just how I imagine the classic detective and robber chase. I had this feeling. A heart-wrenching feeling of utter despair. Something a normal person would feel in a moment like that. Kinda like a twisted game of cat and mouse. And I bet you can guess who the mouse in the detective uniform was. What if I don't do my job? What if something happens to me? All of these thoughts rushed into my head like a bolt of lightning. This was being alive. And I couldn't just let this slip away like every other dream. I know that he always gambles his life away with each and every crime he commits, but even Todd should know the house always wins. It's over, Todd! It's over when I say it's over, blue blood! You feeling lucky, punk? Did you just quote Dirty Harry? Sorry. They have had a lot of reruns on TV lately. You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Yeah? I've always held the aces, Henry. You've known that! You're bluffing! Oh, then you'll love this. Just let him go! I'm not making it out of here to save yourself. You're getting us out of here! Tell him goodbye, Henry. No! I was broken after that. I never had any more dreams after that moment. I longed to see my fictional brother Thomas, if only it had never ended. At this point, I feel I've got nothing left to live for. I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs>